our nosebleed. This is where we are. After nosebleed. Guess we passed out for a few. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. <laughs> Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. Let anyone else try to do this and see what happens. <laughs> Look at this, just casually aiming a gun. If someone were to come around here and see that, she would get blasted. Let's talk. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, yep. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Yeah, if... Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. Well, In fact, you is. need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Shoot him. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. Oh. You are awesome. Oh. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. That was silly. I just wanted to see what would happen, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna go through with that. Stop. Are you ready to do this? We should jet. We before. have plenty of time to do anything we want, whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. Hey. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me. 
or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really yeah, stood your ground. I, like, I freaked. I don't like guns. <laughs> It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. And it's all my step shit will have his other guns sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. Uh, I know, Max. I really. think I might want to change I'm actually relieved that. it worked out this way instead. I think I want to change that outcome. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. <laughs> he won't fuck with us again. If I shoot, him. he doesn't take the gun. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because if of I me. If I don't shoot. Oh, man. You wow. can't win either way. Why did shoot, Frank have Rachel's he takes the gun. We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Alright, whatever. We'll live with that. She doesn't need a gun anyway. Where'd she go? That was real awkward. Is she in here? No. Where did she go? Oh, she's right here. Still, I don't know. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. Just another day of Max's fucked up life. Time to go get Chloe. I don't know how I feel about that. Either way seemed like a bad idea. Whatever. Learn from the mistakes. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> uh, either decision was not good in my opinion. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Oh, now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's yes. weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Land on the tracks. Okay. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Mm. Are you okay, Max? I'm freaked out. I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway. Frank and I kind of hung out. Bad boy. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash. That's all. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Be I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. 
she had has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the bead poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Get off the track. Perfect. Oh, here we go again. How'd you get stuck? How did you get stuck? What's that noise? The train! Oh shit! Uh, I don't want to die here! I don't know what to do. Uh. I need to pull the switching lever right now. Um, maybe I can awesome. It's not locked. Please get me out of here. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Shit. Hurry up. Uh, how do you get in there? Open. Shit, I can't budget at all. It's always something shit. I need to figure this out. Uh. <sighs> Alright. It's always never easy. It's never easy. Let's go up here. It's a wedge blocking this right here. Hurry! This wedge locks the drum in place. How do you? Please get me out of here! You can't move any forward because then it'll fall. You can't do anything. You can't get in the door. Something Get me out of here! I can definitely use this bad boy. Now I can finally move the drum. Yeah, now. Okay. Hurry up. Uh, I got the crowbar, so... Hurry! Now I can finally move the drum. Get me out of here, Max! I have to help lift Chloe up. I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. 
Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Really? Could have been an alternative way to do with that. Do with that. Could have pushed it. I mean, could have gotten in that door and cut the box wires. But oh well. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be now. connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? You know. What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price. A superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty Come week on. and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. For better or worse. Too much excitement for one day. Oh, jeez. Now we have to deal with our party in uh, Warren. I don't think we'll be able to juggle both. A little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So, are you going to that Vortex Club party? Justin like always said, looks stoned. The sweetest outfit. Justin, can't go out there. Map, poster, principal. I swear, Principal Wells always looks distressed. He looks quite normal. Sir. Me. Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Talk to Nathan. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. He's even scarier. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. You have a meeting while you're standing outside. Okay. Ugh. And there he is. Before we talk to that douche, let's talk to Zach. Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a football. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. I won't. 
That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama, even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. When she's hot, rich, talented, what more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday satisfied. night. No matter how much they have. Join us or die. Basically what it's saying. Courtney will do anything for Victoria and the Vortex Club. Hey Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Trevor surveys his domain. I should feel lucky to be here. Not anymore. Now why would Frank Bowers have your bracelet? Because he asked him to do it. Good thing I, I left my AK at home. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No. No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Well, there we go. Warren? I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. I had to score some weed from Nathan. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Okay. And this is my locker. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk. Please, leave me alone. 
<sighs> she knows what I'm talking about. Where is she going? I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? Hey, Jefferson. I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of troubled students. Well, we're gonna talk to Jefferson and go to class in a bit.